What's up everyone? Eddie Mercado here with BloodyElbow.com and I'm about to interview the Bellator lightweight Saad Awad as he is about to take on Derek Anderson on August 26th. So we're going to give him a call and find out how he's feeling after his rather recent win over Cyborg Santos and kind of his thoughts on his upcoming opponent. Hello? Saad Awad, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you, thank you for joining me. No problem. Thank you for having me. Awesome, Sauce. What's going on, man? No, much, man. I was just, uh, shit, I was falling asleep. Oh, rest is super important. Now, uh, shoot, man, 19 and 7. I mean, 8 knockouts, 7 submissions, currently 7 and 4 in Bellator. How are things? Good. Things are good. They're going. Things are going. Good. All right, you're yeah. fresh off of a Bellator 154 win over Cyborg Santos. A huge name win. First round victory that has to feel good. Also, a fight at welterweight. Tell me, uh, how did it feel to fight at 170 and get a first round victory? Uh, well, the victory always felt really good. Uh, I, I liked it. I didn't have to cut weight, so I didn't have to worry about making weight because that's usually like, you know, half the fight right there is the weight cut. So I didn't have to worry about that. I think I cut a couple of pounds the day of, but it, that's nothing compared to what I usually cut coming into the fight. So uh, that was cool. And then I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it. Okay, awesome. Now, uh, up on your plate right now, pretty tough, scrappy guy in Derek Anderson, a, a long, tall guy, really likes to just come forward, might not be the prettiest of fights you know he really likes to make it ugly and and really turn it into a dog fight what are your thoughts on Derek Anderson both a common opponent in Padricky Pitbull yeah he uh he, he, he's young he's tough um I just uh, he, he's a tough kid you know what I mean and um I think um uh when people come to fight they usually bring out the best in me and I know he's gonna come to fight so I think he's gonna bring out the best in me uh come 26. Okay, now you're seven and four in Bellator. Let me ask you this: What was your favorite victory thus far? And I've I've narrowed it down to three possible. It has to be the rematch with Joe Duarte, the demolishing of Will Brooks, or the dismantling of Cyborg Santos in the first round. Oh man, uh, I haven't really thought about. It, I guess I mean. You, you could say at the time uh, when Will Brooks was champ, it was Will Brooks just because he was the champ. You know, you know, we wore one and one, so it leads us to you know a trilogy match. But as of now, um, um, man, I think the Duarte one felt good because you know I got to go back out there and avenge a loss. And the way I did it, you know, he's a, he's a buddy of mine, so it sucked. But it's you know it's a fight game. So I'll, I'll take I'll take the cyborg one, man, because you know I did go up a weight class. It was last minute, and uh, and he's a name. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, he he took you down. You went for an arm bar. He dropped back for a leg lock, and I mean, just chose the posi or chose the submission over the position, and I mean, he paid for it, and you made him pay for it. I mean, yeah. that was definitely impressive, especially at a higher weight class. Um, would you fight at 170 again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already told him. I said if if something comes up and and it made sense and uh, and I was ready to fight, I'll, I'll jump in and do it again. Okay. By chance, did you see Cyborg versus uh, Michael Page? Yeah. Oh yeah. man, what were your thoughts on that injury that Cyborg sustained, the fractured skull from the flying knee? That was scary. You know, what I mean, it was it was scary, and uh, uh, I think that's probably the worst injury that you know. We probably we've seen in MMA, so um, it was just it was just scary because I didn't know, or I don't think anybody knew what was gonna happen. But you know, thank God, you know, it, it, things went good and he's better now. For sure, yeah, definitely a scary moment. Uh, good to see all as well right now, though. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Derek Anderson, what do you got in store for him? Where have you been training at? Who are you training with? What are you gonna do to this guy? <laughs> well, I've been training. You know, I always do my camps at Millennia. I've been cross training a little bit, training with different people, but uh, mainly just Millennia. You know, my main, my main teammates with you know, Georgie, Lorenz, uh, Sean Strickland, Sean Strickland. I'm probably gonna get in with him again this week, hopefully. But um, yeah. 
Okay, now how do you see this fight playing out? I see it being a short night for him, man, because his style, I think his style is going to be his uh, his worst enemy in this fight because, uh, you know, he likes to come straight, and um, usually guys that come straight into me doesn't, you know, they don't last too long, so uh, I, don't think, I think it's going to be a short night for him. Okay, so what would be following that? Obviously, that puts you kind of right towards the top of the heap. Lightweight That's a great division. question, man. That's a great question. I mean, I, I would like to jump in there and fight for a title. But, I mean, who knows? I think, you know, Bellator, they're, they're throwing all these crazy fights together. So, who, who knows what will happen, you know? Maybe I'll get one of those crazy fights. Or maybe I'll get a title fight. I'll like a title fight. Or, shoot, or give me one of the, those guys that are there. You know, the one, two, or three guy. Okay. Would you want to run it back with Chandler? Or, um, excuse me, with uh, Pitbull? Yeah, I'll take that one. I'll take, I mean, like I said, I'll take any fight they give me right now just just to stay busy. You know what I mean? But I would like a title fight. You know what I mean? Everybody wants a title fight. Okay. Now, the Pitbull fight, of course, but Tricky Pitbull, very exciting fight. You guys pretty much stood the whole time. And after the fight, I believe you uh, you got some surgery done on your hand, right? Yeah, I broke my, my left hand in the, in the first round in that fight. So kind of, yeah, yeah, stupid. Was that healed in time for the cyborg fight? Um, not healed in time to the sense that I was able to train fully, but it started, you know, I, I, I think I started doing mitts right, like, probably like a week or two before the fight, you know what I mean? Like, right before they called me, actually. So it wasn't enough time for, like, a training camp, but it was, uh, you know, it, it was enough time for the fight. Okay, now, is the hand close to 100% now? Oh, yeah, 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 I just uh, opened the bag all day, all, all this morning, so... Yeah, it's it's hundred percent for me. Okay, awesome. You got any uh any sponsors or any people you want to give a shout out to? Oh, definitely. Yeah, you know, Concrete Premier Sports, one of my main sponsors. You know, I just picked up Lana's egg whites, which is awesome. You know, it's my that's been my breakfast every morning, all day, every day. And um, you know, and then uh, Garden of Life, and you know, they send me a package every month, keep me healthy with all the organic and. You know, non-GMO products. So those are those are three that I that that I've been staying on lately. Okay. Now, what are your Twitter handles and Instagrams? How can people follow you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. It's the same name. It's my first name, S A A D, and then M M A, mixed martial arts. So Syed M M A on Twitter and Instagram. Awesome. Well, Saad Awad, thank you so much for taking out the time. Big fight on your hands. Bellator 160, Derek Anderson, August 26th. Best of luck to you, sir. Thank you, brother. You have a good, you have a good night. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. All right, brother. So there you have it. Bellator lightweight Saad Awad set to take on the young gun Derek Anderson at Bellator 160. It's going down on August 26th. So go check that out. In the meantime, read me on bloodyelbow.com. Follow me on Twitter at TheEddieMercado. And be a good person.